Are you displeased with your room service? Seriously? Can you say hi? Thank you. Good boy. I'm trying to let you run around. I cannot hold you all the time. I'm sorry. Did you hide the banana toy? Yeah, where'd you hide it? Oh, I'm sorry, more? When I stop petting her, I get lots of complaints from her. I'll sit with her face to face and talk to her, and she would scream. She would scream all the time. She definitely has a timer of when she's supposed to eat, and she will let you know if you're late. You wanna eat? She's a little scrungly looking for sure. But I knew that she was gonna be definitely something interesting. <laughs> Mom tried to nurse her, Wisp just wouldn't latch. She was just like not doing well. I got with mom from when a bunch of Persians were getting dumped in the neighborhood where I lived. But I was nervous at first because it's always hit or miss if they latch on to the bottle feeding. And she was a pro at it. The first day, Are you hungry? she was just screaming. Okay. She was very demanding. But we just thought it was hilarious because we've never had such a kitten that small, overly vocal about everything. Stay away. You dirty. Yes, you are. So I would just talk to her, and she always looks at me like I'm crazy. And she reacts for sure. I'm honestly surprised by her. Because she was confined for so long that she never got that chance to, like, sue me. So she will run really fast and kind of just like wipe out or topple over. <laughs> but she act like it never happened. Now the energy level, the food level, all of that stuff has increased, which is a healthy, happy kitten. She just has a huge personality. And it makes me very happy. She's, she's something. Hi, Kona. Did you see the squirrel in the tree today? And you don't think of a cat having expressions, but Kona would talk every day. Kona, what does a ghost say? And I know we'd have these conversations, and I think he's waiting for me to say the words he wants to hear. Kona, do you want to play? Kona, are you coming to eat? Well, come on, let's go. It's hard for me to remember when he started talking, but so I do think he's waiting for me when we're having our conversation to say the words that he wants. You don't want to share your pineapple bed? Hey, Kai. I went to a local shelter looking to get um, a couple kittens and Conan and Kai were the two that were offered to me. And when we brought them home, personality-wise, they are so different has never spoken to me directly. So she lets Kona take care of that business. I just have always talked to my cats. So he just started to talk back and I thought it was really cute. Can you say hi? Thank you. And now mainly have one conversation a day. Could you just say hi to me? Hey. The last time we went on a trip, I was gone for almost two weeks. And he was intentionally giving me the silent treatment. He just would not talk. And I'm like, Kona, nothing? You're not going to say anything? No woohoos, nothing? But I just continue to talk to him. Where is it? I do talk to Kai as well. Like, people think I don't. I always heard her the same questions, and she just doesn't answer me. <laughs> How they changed my life was that I'm sharing them with so many people. And then they tell me how much it brightens their day. So that has brought a lot to my life.